Hello and welcome to how to add your own custom trace channels. So a trace channel is used primarily by line traces, capital traces and sphere traces. However, there are many other various reasons that you may use a different channel for variety of different things such as explosions, you want to do radial damage, plus many other things too. Now, when you do come in with the new Unreal Engine 5 project, you will come with two default trace channels and you've seen them before if you go into any of the collision settings of your actors so let's say bring this cube across over here and i'll make it a bit bigger so it stands out a little bit um and if i go to its collision settings you'll see if i go to collision presets expand this open you'll see trace responses for visibility and camera are the two default ones you have and here you have options to ignore overlap or block and this block here has been told to block visibility and camera so this trace at the moment is set to use visibility so if i were to simulate this you'll see it coming out of the sphere and getting blocked by this little red square you can see here clearly that means that this is now blocking this trace channel now if i were to change that trace channel though to something else by going to custom reset and set visibility here to ignore we'll hit simulate again you see now the line will simply ignore it and go straight through the other side okay so that's how trace channels work uh, in a nutshell but you can also make your own custom ones too uh so why would you normally want to do this so there may be an occasion where you want your traces to be specific for a very certain type of actor in your scene so for example if you're doing an attack and you only want it so your attacks will do damage or hit uh, enemies you can make a custom trace channel for that also, you could do things such as interactables and, and so on and so forth. There's many other reasons why you may want to make your own custom ones. So how do we actually go about doing this? Well, we go into our project settings. And in here, you can go down to collision settings on the engine section. And you'll see you've got object channels and trace channels. Trace channels, you go to new trace channel, put in the name of you want. So let's call this one um, enemy. And then you have a default response. This could be either ignore, overlap, or block. Basically, what this will do is say to every single object in your entire game, what will they default their default setting be towards this trace channel? Now, for something like enemy and interactables, you probably want to change your default response to be ignore. Because you don't want, don't want to go through every single item inside your entire game and change them all to ignore much rather do what are going to be the smaller subset which are going to be the enemies to actually change here so i'm going to set this to ignore and hit accept now it appears in that list and you can load up to 18 of these so you can get going nuts with this um also you've got object channels here too which we'll go through in a second but it works pretty much the same way and we're going to go into our trace now so this trace i'm going to set it to use a different trace channel so if I go into trace channel here, click on here, you'll see you've got enemy is now appearing. If your new one doesn't appear, don't fret, just hit compile and it should then show in that list. I'm going to change this to enemy here, compile and save. And if I go to my cube here, you'll see by default it's been added but it's set to ignore. So if I were to play this, the line trace will still go right through it. But if I were to change this enemy here to block, it will now get blocked by this line trace. And this is true for everything else, okay? So if I were to move this uh, ball around and move this, uh, hang on, do I need to stop that? Move the ball around, move, put this here too. Okay. Oh, our line trace got hit. <laughs> Box got hit by the cube, uh, by the gun here. Move that away. There we go. So you can see here the line trace is hitting this cube here um, and getting blocked by it. But if I were told this block this to the uh, enemy to ignore, you'll see it goes right through and doesn't get hit by anything. Okay, And that's how you create your own custom trace channels. Now you also saw their custom object channels and those refer to object responses down here. So if you've got a particular type of object you want to add to your game, in this case it has provided us a projectile based one in the first person template. Uh, this is a great opportunity to add these to this too. Again, you only can add up to 18 of them, um, but it works in a pretty much the exact same way. Now, if you want to do a trace, you've got a traces by for channel, which we just did for the our sphere here. 
But we can also do a trace for objects, and that uses the object traces here too. And there you go. So have a play, have a check out, and uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos or any of my videos early before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before anyone else. A massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. And if you like my videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.